Psalm 46, 1 through 3 says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So, we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. You know, when yesterday's storms came through, we received uh, an emergency weather, weather notification while we were at church. A tornado warning was in effect for our area. Uh, tornado watch is issued when conditions are favorable for the development of tornadoes, while a tornado warning means that a center of circulation has been spotted in the area and you need to seek shelter. So, everyone in the building, as much as was possible, sought shelter in interior hallways and rooms. Uh, it was our shelter from the storm. Thankfully, our warning expired without incident, but the action of seeking refuge it was still worth it. Of course, what we experienced was just a small portion of Hurricane Ida's remnants. I've seen pictures and video of the havoc wrought by the storm as it made landfall in Louisiana. Well, thankfully, most people sought refuge beforehand. And that's the thing. They sought refuge beforehand. Warnings can be issued, but each person, each family, must choose whether to heed the warning and seek refuge or not. Some choose not to seek shelter and survive just fine. Others choose to seek shelter and the storm fizzles out. But every now and then, the warning is exactly right, and the storm is devastating. Once the hurricane hits, it's too late to evacuate. Once the tornado hits, it's too late to seek shelter. What I need to ask right now, what you need to ask in this moment, before the next storm of life hits, is, does my heart in my mind, found refuge, shelter, in the Lord. Pray with me. God, you offer a refuge. You offer shelter. But you will not force us to seek it. You extend the invitation. You ask us to come. You give the warning that there is a storm coming. You can find shelter in me. But Lord, many of us ignore the warning. We think that we'll be okay in the storm. Right where we're at. But I pray, Lord, that you would remind us that even if the storm fizzles out, it's still far more worth it to seek shelter before the storm comes. Help us with our hearts and minds today to seek shelter in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.